I'm Claudia Parker, and welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes of Faith. Today, you hear the testimony of Amia Harris. She's dedicated her life to serving others. You know, it's so easy to have a tendency to want to hold on to what you have, because sometimes I think we get afraid that if we give so much of ourselves, that maybe it will leave us depleted. But God gives seed to the sower. We are blessed to be a blessing, and that is exactly what has happened in the life of Amia. Have a look. My name is Amia Harris. I'm a wife, a mother, a home renovator, and I love to serve those that are least fortunate. And I'm here on Five Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. The love that I had for the Lord started to to develop at the age of eight. He has kept me from that point even up until now. You can have a solid, prosperous life just obeying the Word of God. I have seen for myself the miracle of a life that chose to say I will obey. I look at my life And I look at my marriage. I've been married 30 years. Have we had ups and downs? Yes. But the joy of the Lord has been our strength. The ministry of life development, our center, came about with me and my husband having a heart to serve the least fortunate. God said that you will have resources to meet the needs of those for women and children, he allowed me to buy real estate. And those were part of my first projects in purchasing buildings to house women. And in that housing them, we would have classes set up for them to get back on their feet. We would teach them about job career. We would teach them how to write job resumes, how to interview in front of people. Uh, We would help them with their grocery bills, uh, show them how to write a budget. And Life Development Center was developed from our love and our passion to support people. And we wanted to meet the need of our community. So we have served over 25 women in our, in our housing program. It was a two flat building we started out with. So we had three bedrooms up, three bedrooms down. When we moved from there, then we had another building that it housed four. So in total, when the program ran, we've served over 25. So at one time we may serve 11. We provided <laughs> in the beginning, everything but as time went by they started to uh, have their food stamps so their food stamps provided their food but we provided everything else uh transportation cards we did uh all of the utilities uh if they needed to go somewhere we were their transportation the funding came from me and my husband buying and selling real estate we use our personal money We used our money and in the process of that, that's why I tell people, when you love, you'll give everything to the point that you may have lost all of what you had for yourself. But God knows, God knows. And that's why I say, even in the process of knowing who you are, when you are called and you are covered and you are guarded, he would never leave you nor forsake you. So we've been um, outside of the local church for the last three years. So we've been in transition. And now what we have started to do is to establish the conferences. We're starting to empower people. I say women, men, children. We want to empower everyone to move towards their best you. And with that, what it will do is then help us continue to bring support 
support to those that are in need as we have these different conferences that we're going to establish. And I am grateful for everyone that's been a part to help us move towards in this empowerment session, uh, because what it will do is again, it's going to help us passionately serve those that are least fortunate and continue to move life development center, non-for-profit organization further.